Hi Aquarius, this is for you, September 4th through the 10th, weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled these three times before I hit record. If this resonates, great. If it doesn't, so be it. There's no way I can possibly read everybody. Um, it's for thousands of people. Well, you have a lot of excitement here, Aquarius. There's something very enthusiastic, and there's a there's action. Okay. There's action this week, so there's there's definitely some kind of exciting. There's an exciting new discovery of some sort, and I, things are definitely happening for you. <laughs> Looks good. Oh, my God. But, you know, didn't I think your monthly reading was about money, I think. Yeah, you have so much passion. You're passionate about something, and you're moving in the right direction, away from despair and depression. <laughs> this card's coming up for a lot of people. My God, <laughs> all the fire energy, oh my God. There is so much passion and excitement this week. I don't know what the hell is going on. I mean, right here, right here, right here, right here. Whew. Very, very intense energy, okay? Things are happening this week. There's no stalemate. Definitely not. Maybe there's even going to be some overindulgences. Of, there's definitely, you know, I'm trying to even talk too fast. There, I'm just trying to zoom this in. There, you know, this right here is the devil card. There's so much, I mean, this is a very sexually driven week, so that's what I see. I mean, there's a lot of sexual, hot, heavy, intense energy here, okay? I think that you are mastering your emotions this week. I think that you're in the driver's seat. I think that love is on the horizon if it's not here already. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of in something Okay, and you know, this is saying just hold on, wait a minute, watch out, be careful, be careful, because this, and I've told the last people this as well, what you own owns you, be careful, hold on, just think twice before you act, which is going to be very hard for you, with all this intent energy, you're going to be very hasty, things could happen very quickly, you could be doing things without thinking, so really, really try your best to think twice, okay? Just try your best this week to think twice about any anything that comes in front of you because you could act very hastily um, without thinking. There's a lot of impulsive behavior here, and you could be... Um, you could definitely overindulge. You could, say, go out with your friends and, and overindulge a bit, okay? Um, I think you're highly in tune with the universe this week, um, yeah, I think you're very intuitive. I think you're feeling very good. The, you're vibrant. I think you're projecting love. You're vibrating love. And I think you're very attractive. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Really good. I'm going to get the next deck. I mean, it's just amazing. I think you've had some depression. But I think for some reason this week there, that there's not much. I think that you're moving away from that depression. You're mastering your emotions. And you're taking action. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of lust this week. There is. So I think the depression, you know, isn't really that much in the picture. I think the excitement and the passion passion takes precedence by far. Um, I think that you <laughs> Wow, there's a new beginning. Yeah, there is a couple of new beginnings here. There's actually three of them. Uh, one, two, three. These are three ones. Instant manifestation. Okay? Your thoughts become things. 
It's an awakening. It's a wake-up call. It's very fast-moving energy. All right? You're very, very much in tune with your thoughts, and you are manifesting things very quickly this, this week with all these ones. All right? So I, I don't even know what's happening, but it seems like it's a very intense week. And you are vibrant and beautiful. And you are projecting highly. You got high vibration going on here. You're very attractive. Um, just be careful. Be careful. All right. And don't let your ego get the best of you because the shadow side is your ego right next to your beauty. Okay, in your in tuneness, knowing that you're beautiful and knowing that you're in tune, this is your ego. So just be careful about your ego, okay? Because you don't wanna you wanna keep that vibration high. Be humble. Because you are vibrating very, very highly this week. I think that you are just very attractive and people are drawn to you. Don't let it go to your head, though. I mean, that's why this card is here, so I'm just giving you the message. Um, this is the ending of something. It's the end of this ending of this despair and depression. Like I said, that just confirms it. That's all it is. You are moving forward. You're taking action in the right direction. You are having the clarity of mind, finally. There's no confusion, none. You know exactly what's going on. And you are changing things for the better in your life. You are manifesting this change. And it's damn exciting. I'm telling you what, okay? This right here, you have it twice. The Five of Pentacles is insecurity in finances or in, you know, you're worried about your money for some reason still. And I believe that your your monthly reading was about money. So that's still a factor, even though this week is a very passionate week. You're still worried about your finances. You feel like you're still on thin ice. I think we talked about this before. I do so many readings that I can't remember, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this was you. Okay, you're still worried about your finances, even though this is a love reading. I mean, that just doesn't seem to go away for you. Um, all right, so I forgot. I don't think I've named the signs yet. You do have the fire signs, definitely. You have so much fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You also have um, water energy, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And you have yourself, and you have Libra and Gemini as well. So it looks like you you have definitely some some choices here. Um, I think you're about to make a decision though. Maybe you're gonna cut through some. Maybe you're insecure with a Libra because we have that here. Maybe you're insecure with a Libra, or you know you're you you're thinking about two people. That could be the case as well because we have these these pe three people here. You know, when you're insecure about one situation and you're feeling excited about somebody else, I mean, that's a possible scenario. Um, there could be a choice between an uh, uh, air sign and a water sign, okay? I mean, we do have you moving, finally reaching a destination, and I think that reaching a destination is away from any depression you've been going through or any sickness or illness or whatever, any despair I think you are definitely moving out of that there's no doubt about it none that you are taking action and you are changing the, your thought process and I think you're acting more caring loving and nurturing and I think that you're vibrating vi vibrating very very highly and your attraction is I mean people are drawn to you this week for sure I think that you're just like a, like a, whew, glowing. I think you're very motherly, caring, nurturing, and intuitive. You're definitely intuitive. You're, I, any depression you were going through last week or a couple weeks ago, I think that's moving out. 
keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Forgiving and learning. Oh, that's a good one. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. I think that that is exactly what you're doing. It's right under this manifestation card. Okay, that's a new manifestation. It's a new beginning of abundance. And abundance comes in so many ways. Forgiving and learning, if you can do that, you're, you're freaking abundant in my book. <laughs> that's the truth. True love. Yeehaw. This is the romance of a lifetime. What else can I say? Congratulations. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. That's what you're doing. That's why there's so excitement, passion, happiness, attraction this week. Because you're letting go of the need to control. chemistry absolutely there's a strong magnetic attraction here between you and everybody and that's the way it is i think people are drawn to your beauty this week inside and out because that's who the empress is that is a good one i know that you spend all your time caring for other people I think this came up in your last reading too. Maybe not this car, but I remember feeling that or seeing that or something. I do think that you spend a lot of time caring for other people. What about you? When is the last time that you put yourself first? Huh? And do you remember when that was? Love yourself first. Your, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. This is what raises your vibration to the highest level. Because once you do that, everything else falls right into place. You just keep vibrating higher and higher and higher and higher. So, there's your reading for the week. That's what I have. Talk to you later.